you are managing your business data in SharePoint list. And as a part of data backup, you are taking SharePoint list data backup into Excel file. But every time manually taking backup that will take time. And if you forget it, then it will create data inconsistency. So how will you solve this problem? Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. I welcome you all to Power Automate tutorial. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn how you can synchronize SharePoint list data with the Excel file using Power Automate. Let me show you practically. Here, this is my SharePoint list which is there in KnowHow personal site and the list name is demo employee. And here, this is my Excel file which is containing a backup data of the SharePoint list. Here, whatever data is there in Excel file, it is not exactly matched with the SharePoint list. So what I need to do? First of all, whatever data you are getting, you need to select that data uh, sorry, just give me a second. You need to select that all column and you need to go to home and click on format as a table. So that table we will consider in our power automate. Here I have already converted it. So if you go to the table design and here you will see the table name of this Excel data. So what we will do here, we will design a power automate flow which will synchronize SharePoint list data with the Excel file. Now here you can see that some new records are added and some existing records are updated. So based on inserting data or updating data, a power automate flow will uh, execute and data will be synchronized between the SharePoint list and the Excel file. So for that, I have designed one flow and this type of flow is called schedule flow. Why it is a schedule flow? Because I want to synchronize SharePoint list data with the Excel file every day or every one week or so on. So, you know, I will execute this flow every one day. Okay, then I have taken one action. Now, this action what will do? The name of the action is get items. So basically what it will do, it will first get all the data from the SharePoint list. Then it will match this SharePoint list data with the Excel file. If match is found, then it will update. And if match is not found, then it will insert data into the Excel file. So this is the process. Or you can say this is the logic behind this. So here get items and inside that I have selected a site address. So here my SharePoint site address is know how personal. So here it is that. Now inside that what is the name of the list I have selected. And here in advanced option I did not select anything. So here this action will get data from the SharePoint list. Then what I need to do? I need to get all the data from the Excel file and we will iterate one by one row and we will compare whether the first name of this person if it does not match then we will insert it okay so for that uh, here I did not directly take apply to each action but I took action called least row present in a table that means it will extract all the data from the Excel file but here the twist is there that I want to iterate each and every row. So what I will do here uh, first of all uh, I will uh, select the location my OneDrive file is there in the location called the OneDrive business then from the document library I need to select the OneDrive and then from uh, file that is location of the file so it is there in my YouTube data folder in my OneDrive and the name of the file is demo xls then what is the table name that table name you need to select it then what type of data I want to select I want to select the data of the person whose first name is equal to the first name of the SharePoint list. So what I have written in filter or data query, I want to compare Excel file with the SharePoint list first name. So here first name that is a name of Excel column that is called key column equal to in single quotation I have written title. 
Now you may have a question that title column is not there. But when I was designing a flow, here I change a column name title as a first name. But you know Power Automate follow the schema name. So schema name is still it is a title. So here I, I take a title. So it will fetch the data from the Excel file whose first name is equal to the first name of the SharePoint list. Then it will fill. When you do that automatically apply to each action will be added. Then after what I need to do if the match is found then I need to update it and if the match is not found then I need to uh, insert it. So for that I have taken an action. Now here in action what I have done here I have taken one uh, expression. Now what this expression is let me just remove that and write it again so you will get an idea. So here you need to uh, write uh, the expression and write length. Now what this length function will do whatever the number of record it will written by that previous section it will count the number of row. So length function will count number of row. Now how many many row it will there so if match is found then there may be a possibility that more than zero row we are finding uh, or we are getting so here in length so length uh, I need to write it which will count the number of row which is based on previous action then based on previous action I need to select that so go to the dynamic content and select the list of items and click on ok so here this will find the number of record and i will select greater than zero that means if match is found definitely number of row will be one or more than one so here i need to write now if the condition is satisfied then what i need to do i need to take an action called update row now here an update row i need to provide a key column so here i want to update the row of the uh, excel file so key column is here the first name you can consider any key column but i will update the value that where the update the last name where the first name is rinsey update the age where the first name is rinsey and so on so here i have given that uh, f key value and uh, key column is a first name and whatever the value is there i have written with the first name then here whatever the last name age gender and email i want to update it from the uh, sharepoint list so here i have selected a item when you click on that whatever item it is written by that get items here you will see that the number of columns so i have said the last name then age gender email uh, and so on so this is if the row is found then it will update then after if the match is not found that means if length is zero then it will add data into the excel file so for that i have taken one action called add a row into table and then i will set the location again and the same that means i need to set the uh, excel file location here i have done the same thing but here key column is not there why because we want to insert the data so here first name title value last name uh, last name value and so on but remember this value I need to get from the get items which is getting item from the SharePoint list so here this way you can do that now let's execute that now before executing the file make sure that excel file should be closed now here uh, you have already seen that excel file has only four to five records and here my SharePoint list has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 records are there. So whenever the match is found and if updation is possible, it will done. Otherwise, it will insert data. Now let's execute that. Click on the test. It will execute on every uh, day. But you know, I want to show you the output. So that's why I'm executing it manually. So click on the test click on run flow and click on done you can see that flow is executing here you can see that your flow ran successfully that means whatever data existing data is there it will be updated in excel file and if new data it is finding uh, then it will added into the excel file now let's go to the uh, onedrive and open that excel file and here you can see that all the data that is nine row that is including one uh, heading row it is there and here we have synchronized successfully so this way you can synchronize data between sharepoint list and the excel file so i hope you understand before ending this video 
let me tell you what you have learned from this video first you have learned how you can perform auto synchronization of data between sharepoint list and the excel file which is there in onedrive thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning